Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a brand new hero, Zia. He's going to be a mid laner slash support. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for a brand new mid laner, so here we have it. This one is going to be quite unique. He can exceed level 15, so he can go up to level 25 and also gain new abilities and also give this same buff to get into level 25 to another hero and it will also enhance him as well so it's going to be quite interesting and i'm going to break it down in this video and how do we know this hero is going to be released they leaked it on the google play store page so if you guys go to the honor of kings google play store page you can see that this hero is coming out on august 20th so august 20th is going to be the release day and I, I know i'm releasing this video a couple of days early but i just wanted to kind of get the info out to you guys so you can be ready for this amazing hero that's going to be coming out with that being said let's get started and show you guys everything you need to know about zia let's begin okay so zia's passive actually has a couple of parts so i'm going to break it down so i can make it easier for you guys so passive when Zia deals damage to a target and are defeated within 3 seconds, he gains 1 to 3 extra experience light orbs to boost his EXP. So pretty much if you kill someone within the 3 second mark, you're going to get these orbs falling out of them that you can collect and gain more experience. So again, this is going to be very strong against like minions, minion waves, so make sure you're around targets and you're able to collect these orbs to level up faster. And then the second part of the passive, when Zia reaches level 15, Sanctification power is restored, granting a one-time skill called Sanctify and increasing his level cap to 25. Each level gain grants 20 magical attack. So again, whenever you reach level 15, you're going to be enhanced. And every time you level up until level 25, you're going to gain 20 magical attack. So very strong. Um, it's going to take a while for you to get to level 25, but also this ability is going to let you get enhanced. And I'm going to talk about that later, what the enhanced abilities do. But yeah, level 15, once you hit it, you're going to be much stronger. And you're going to have your level uncapped to level 25. And then the third part of the passive is that using Sanctify would bless a teammate, channeling 1200 EXP to them and allowing them to also break through their level cap and as well as possibly granting EXP light orbs. So basically, uh, once you hit level, 20, uh, level 15, you're going to be able to... Uh, give this blessing to your teammates which is going to give them unique bonuses as well so as you guys know Zia gets 20 magical attack every time he levels up but depending on what hero you blessed are going to get a uh, unique attributes too so like for example like a ADC is going to get attack speed so it's going to be really good for like Arlie Marco Polo but yeah pretty much you're able to bless a uh, teammate and once you bless them, they're going to gain a bunch of experience and then they're going to have an easier time leveling up to 25 because they're going to start uh, collecting orbs as well. But yeah, that's pretty much the passive for Zia. Okay, so Zia's first skill. Zia places a divine seal on enemies within range, dealing 70 magical damage followed by 70 magical damage every 0.4 seconds for a total of 7 hits. Sealed enemies will gradually lose up to 35% of their movement speed and 10% of their physical and magical defense. If this skill hits an enemy, he gains 30% movement speed boost that diminishes over 1 second. So again, this skill is what makes him be able to support a lot of players like using this skill to have Zeo as a support because of the, the all the stats that it gives you. Pretty much you do damage over time, you're able to steal the enemy's movement speed and also reduce their physical and magical defense so it's a really strong skill and yeah that's pretty much what it does all right so zia's second skill zia unleashes divine retribution on wrongdoers conjuring a magic circle that deals three strikes of damage to nearby enemies each strike deals a 60 magical damage after a short delay the magic circle explodes dealing 300 damage to enemies and launching them for 0 0.75 seconds so again this skill is going to be a really high damage skill and also has crowd control so you're going to be able to lock down people and this actually skill is comboed with the first skill for the most part right uh, with your first skill you're able to slow the targets reduce their magical defense and once you land your second skill the circle on them you're going to be able to kind of finish off the the magical circle that explodes and do a bunch of damage to them so again it's a really important skill does have a lot of CC control, a lot of damage, and you need to combo it with your first skill. Okay, so Zia's third skill or ultimate, Zia channels divine energy in the target's direction, 
unleashing three shockwaves the first two shockwaves deals 120 magical damage while the last one deals 560 magical damage so you want to make sure to hit the last one does a bunch of damage again once uh zia is level 15 he's going to get the sanctification power and the charging speed of the third skill here is going to be increased by 10 percent and there's 20 percent chance that he's going to enter a sanctifier state allowing him to move after initiating the charge each subsequent level gain increase the chances of entering the sanctifier state by 20 percent so normally if you are not in the sanctification or the sanctified state you're not going to be able to move around whenever you use your ultimate and if you do move around it's going to cancel it it's going to cancel your channeling and if you press the skill again it's also going to launch it earlier and yeah so basically if you do enter this sanctified state so again uh, once you get get to level 15 you're going to have a 20 percent chance to enter the sanctifier state and then you're going to be able to launch your ultimate and then move around and you can tell whenever the skill lights up it shows that you're at the sanctifier state and whenever you use your ultimate you can move around so that's a pretty cool part but i believe once you hit level 20 you are going to have a guaranteed sanctifier state so again every level you are going to gain 20 percent and by level 20 you pretty much have gonna get have a guaranteed sanctifier state where you can move around and use your ultimate so you can launch it at a target and just move around out of it and these shockwaves also do damage to structures so you're going to be able to damage towers which is really strong it's going to do only 10 percent damage but again you're going to be able to use this ultimate every couple of seconds and pretty much that you know do a bunch of damage to towers as well in the late game which could be super annoying but yeah guys, that's pretty much everything that you need to know about Zia. I think that he's going to be a very decent um, mid laner and also support. I could see him being played more as a support than a mid laner to be honest. Uh, does have a lot of crowd control, a lot of damage, a lot of annoyance with the first, second, and even the ultimate. You're able to kind of poke and take down towers in the late game. So I think this hero is going to be uh meta at least in the global server i don't think he's played in china too much because they have better heroes but i could see him play a lot in the global server and also here is uh the exact details about the hero so if you guys want to check out and take a screenshot so this is the passive sanctification uh divine seal for the first skill divine punishment and the ultimate universal law so if you guys want to take a screenshot of these and read it for yourself and prepare that's very nice you can do that but i pretty much explained everything in the, uh, the video so you should have all the details but yeah much love everyone thank you all for watching and glad to have you all if you're new make sure to subscribe and like and comment if you have any questions or if you want to know anything let me know and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out everyone